everyone and welcome back to my vlog. I am April and this is April Adventuring, but welcome back. It is Monday, August 2nd, August 2nd, and I thought I would just kick off the vlog. Man, this month, I don't have anything planned out yet. So we're playing it by ear. We'll see what happens. I am just coming out to skate a little bit. I am a little embarrassed to say this, but I've had a penny board for nine years maybe and i have never really been able to use it i've never really practiced or tried that much but i think they're just really hard to learn on also because they're so freaking small so now that i can at least get around i'm gonna see if i can translate those skills to my penny board and actually use it for the first time. Pray for me that I don't break anything, but we're gonna give that a shot today. Enough of my rambling, I just wanted to start out and say hello. Thank you again for watching. If you are curious to see more of my adventures, feel free to check me out on Instagram. All right, let's 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 get some let's get some skating in. Okay, this is my first time trying the penny board, so wish me luck. morning. It is Saturday, August 7th, and I'm in Portland. I drove down yesterday after work, just stayed in an Airbnb just one night. I came down to visit a friend who had moved back down to Portland. I got in pretty late last night around like 9.30, no, around like 9, and then just checked into my Airbnb and then met up with my friend. Ooh, I didn't sleep enough last night. It had been over a year since we'd hung out. We hung out for his birthday last summer. We had a lot of catching up to do. We stayed up way too late chatting. So got back to my Airbnb super late or super early, whichever way you want to look at it. I set an alarm for 10 o'clock because I had to check out 11. By nine, the children in this house, they were running around, running up and down the stairs, like running right outside my door, screaming. It was actually impossible to get back to sleep, so. Got like a few hours of sleep, hanging on for dear life right now. I need to get some coffee in my system and some food and then see what today holds. Good morning. It is Sunday the 8th. I don't know why I forgot yesterday that I was going to be hiking today. So I'm going to bring you along. So there's five of us total and one dog. I'm super excited. We are going to do Blanca Lake. So let's go. Oh, hi, Luna. Hi, beautiful. I feel like they might be edible. Try it. <laughs> Definitely try it. <laughs> you should use those in a commercial for Glossier. Uh, I like all the uh, different ferns and things.
Hello, it is Wednesday, August 11th. I am going camping this weekend. Hopefully by the time you all see this, you will have also um, known that the Perseids were happening mid-August. So they tend to peak between the 9th and the 14th, and this year it's the night of the 11th to the 12th, which is tonight. Still don't know where we're going, so I'm gonna figure that out tonight after work. Hopefully you guys got to enjoy the meteor shower. If you did, let me know in the comments because I just love knowing about other people getting out and enjoying this kind of stuff too. That's the quick update for today. All right, talk to you guys soon. See? He's blue. Okay. He's the, the leader of the bunch. Okay. Uh, Donatello is purple. He's the smart tech gadget guy. Uh, He's the nerd. Yeah. Uh, Michelangelo is the orange one. Okay. He's the cowbunga. Good morning. Today is Monday the 30th of June and again another month has gone by and it feels like it feels like the months just fly by so quickly now. Some exciting news on the van front. I I'm really interested in this one van that I saw go up on Craigslist last week and it's pretty funny because I was actually having a kind of a shitty day last Wednesday I think it was and then was going over to my friend's house and before I left I was like I just have a feeling that I want to check Craigslist one more time really quick to see if any new vans have popped up. So I went on and I had already checked Craigslist for the day, but I just had a feeling that I wanted to look. So I went on again and did my quick search for camper van in a bunch of different cities. And one had popped up in Portland Craigslist. I mean, she was just beautiful, like this nice baby blue with a white high top. Other than Westphalia's, this is kind of the only other body that I've really resonated with. It's a Dodge Tradesman from the 70s. I just love like the shape of the grill and just the shape of the body and everything. And I actually uh, really liked one of these that I saw before, like a month ago or something, that was a pop top. And it was just a little too expensive for, you know, how old these vehicles are. So I didn't end up getting it, but I was this close. Like I moved all my money into one account so I could get it and like I didn't and then she sold it like a day before I was gonna go meet up with her so the same type of van is the one that I'm I'm currently interested in and I emailed the girl immediately or the seller I now know it's a, a female um, I emailed the seller immediately and we've had several email exchanges and she actually got blown up from her listing so much and she actually s reached out to me by email saying she would let me have the van and of course I can make that decision after I go see it. So that was super nice and I feel like the stars kind of aligned a little bit. So since she's in Portland I need to go check out the van and I'm actually driving down today, tonight, and then meeting her after work tomorrow. So we're gonna go over the van give it a test drive and then perhaps hand over many many dollars to this nice lady for her van. I'm pretty nervous but I actually think this might be the one unless there's something like crazy wrong with it I think I'm gonna end up driving this van home and if you're a follower of me on Instagram uh, you probably already know whether or not I got the van because I'm sure I will post about it immediately once I do get it. Um, so by the time this video comes out, the news will be up on my Instagram already. So that's the update on the van friend. I am super excited, a little bit nervous, and yeah, I know it's not perfect, and I mean it's a 1974 vehicle. It's almost 50 years old. <laughs> Which is insane. I still think of the 70s as like 30 years ago. I feel ready. Like it's time to get this van. Good morning. Oh god, what day is it? Well, I sound like an ass. 